Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're back with a quick tip. Uh, so this is a part of our sort of quick tip series you could say uh, and you can find the dedicated playlist uh, to other videos uh, in this series. And um, this is where we focus on quick tips that you can use straight away um, rather than the other videos or style of videos we do where we're teaching different functions or formulas available within Excel. So the quick tip we're going to look at today is duplicate values. And a question we're regularly asked is, is there a quick way we can highlight all of the duplicates we have available in the list? And this can apply to and be very useful for whether it's text values or number values, dates or any um, different kind of uh, input or data type you could have in your Excel worksheet. So the solution we're going to look at today is using conditional formatting to quickly highlight all duplicate values that we have available on our list. And as you'll see in column A, we have a long list here of all values uh, or random values um, between 1 and 10. And you can see straight away that some of those are duplicates. Um, so obviously the benefit of highlighting these uh, duplicates, as you'll see, is we can quickly then filter and identify those. And obviously if you've got a large data set, it becomes increasingly hard to just visually look at stuff and identify those duplicates. So let's jump in. So in order to uh, apply this conditional formatting, all we need to do is if we select column A, because uh, that's in our scenario, that is where we've got all these values um, that we want to look, um, so we say study. In your ribbon at the top here, you can see under the home tab, we have over the, just off the middle, but towards the right hand side, we have the option for conditional formatting. So what we need to do is if you just select that drop down what is available there, and you can see we have a, a number of different options. So all we need to do is we can see the first one we have here is highlight cell cells rules and again we have then even more options that we can use but the one we're interested in for this sample is duplicate values and you can see that listed there and just pause there quickly just so you can make sure you can see that little trail of how we got there once you find that we can use select duplicate values and it will come up and it will already give you some uh, pre-formatted um, ways to identify these duplicate values and I must say it's down to preference if you want to change um, the options so you can put it to something different. We always use the pink background with the red text. It just seems to stand out and I guess it's whatever you get used to really. So if you're not precious about changing the formatting or whatever, you can literally just go OK straight away. And there you go. And you can see what it's done is it's highlighted all the values or all the numbers in our list that are appearing more than once, i.e. they have their, their appearing twice. So it's a duplicate value. Um, so in our scenario, we've actually only got um, two, the number one and number four, that aren't duplicate. So there you go. That demonstrates how useful uh, using conditional formatting can be when identifying these duplicate values. Hopefully in your scenarios, uh, you don't have as many duplicates as we do. Um, generally, if you're looking for duplicates, it's because you, you don't want them or, or they're going to cause problems with your data. Um, but this is a really good principle. Uh, by using the conditional formatting to use from day one if you are being cautious of duplicate values uh, because it's just something you can monitor and it just makes sure that if a duplicate is entered or you type a value into there, obviously as soon as it gets highlighted um, with the conditional formatting, you know you have a duplicate value and you can then therefore do something about it. So we hope you enjoyed that quick video. As always, any questions, drop us a comment below or reach out to us in the links in the description for our Facebook and our website. Um, and as always, last thing to mention, please, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to make sure you're notified of our future videos. And as always, please give the video a, a thumbs up, uh, a like if you have enjoyed it and has taught you something new. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.